All right, so we're pulling up to the call to this uh, recovery or winch out or whatever you want to call it. So let's go see what we got going on here. How you doing? What's up, man? Hello. So what happened? The water. The water, it pushed it over? Yeah. Yeah. Right. right, a bunch of cars got taken out, I heard, yeah. So. Yeah, I hear ya. I mean, honestly, the best thing is really just to winch it right back onto the road, so. So it cut off completely, it's not running at all. It's not running at all, it's cut off completely. Okay. Um, just go ahead and move up a little bit, move up like 50, 60 feet, and then I'm gonna get my tow truck, and then we're just gonna pull it up, kinda up through here, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Okay? All right. What's up? Probably there's no telling. How deep did it get? It got all up in it. I mean, there's a good possibility you could have sucked it into the engine, you know what I'm saying? What? I it, thought the engine was up there. It is, but the intake. Um here, I'll put them up. I'll put them up for you. Go ahead! Go, you're good. Okay, so it got up to like you see where it Yeah, and honestly, the best thing to do is once you get it back home, get a wet dry vac or whatever, and get up as much as you can, and then get a couple fans and get the you got to get the air moving. Okay, you know what I'm saying to dry it out. Yeah. Well, I don't know about all that. You know, there's that's just to get the car you know presentable and the smell and everything wow. and the water out. The electrical and all that's a whole different issue. Where's the key at? In the ignition. This ignition. Yeah, I got I you. Too, okay, that's cool. Is that cool? Yeah, honestly, it's the kind of thing where you don't even want to start it until it dries out and you get that water up out of there. Because if you try to start it and there's water up in a bad spot, it's really going to mess it up really bad. Yeah. So best to just get it up on a trailer or whatever, get as much water as you can out of there with the wet dry vac, all that. Get a couple fans, get the car dried out for 24 hours or a couple days, then try putting a battery in it and see what happens. You know, cross your fingers at that point. So. All right, let me pull up and then we're gonna get it. Just leave it. I got it all. Don't worry about it. Yeah. So hopefully they get that car back going. I'm no stranger to these flood calls. Uh, it happens once a year where. The water rises up like crazy. That whole highway right there was uh, basically the water filled up to the roof lines of cars all the way up to the roof and the cars weren't even able to pass on the highway yesterday. And today it's just been towing all the aftermath of these cars. And this is one of them, or another one of them. Maybe just throw a little snatch block action on it.
We can pull it back a little bit more. Uh, pull it back or push it forward. Probably be easier to push it forward, roll it back. Let me put the bed up and then I'll mess with it. Huh? Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Because all this shit that's been going on. You know what's up? Uh -huh. so still gonna be busy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Half the people didn't even bother calling today. Yeah, I'll, I'll get them. Don't worry about it. What's up? How much you said it was? Hundred bucks. Getting that car up on that dolly ain't gonna be as easy as you think it is. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll probably, I could probably help, but that's a steep, you know what I'm saying? That's not no. I was gonna bump it. Huh? I was gonna try to bump it with the van. Bump it with the van, have her like drive and shit. Um, if you brought a big ass uh, pillowcase, man, that would have been perfect because yeah, you could have put a big old pillow, like a couch cushion or something. Between in between so you don't want to tear up that van because it'll tear that bumper up it won't not the front but the sides will buckle you know what i'm saying um i mean i, I mean i could try to help you push it but 
you know, it ain't gonna hurt me nothing just to help you. We got enough momentum to where if we push it, you know what I'm saying, it might. So let me move the truck real quick back to give us kind of like a buffer. You know what I'm saying? And that's the hunter. And then I'll just, you know, see if we could just, with momentum, get it loaded. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if we can help. I'll probably need those two by sixes again to put on the ground. So, see if I block the lane. I really don't want to have to hook it all and everything and spend if we could just kind of get it rolled and pushed up on there I think we can do it we line it up all right let's do this um you light you're the lightest so we're gonna have you as the wheel girl we can line it up all you're gonna have to do is basically just keep the wheel straight you know what I'm saying so it's safe it ain't gonna go past those but when we tell you to hit the brakes, hit the brakes. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't even think about it. Just hit it automatically. You know what I'm saying? The, the full brakes, the normal brakes. Yeah. You don't want to go flying up in that. Go for it. Stop. not lined up that good that's not the only problem is we just ain't gonna get enough momentum to to get it on there go ahead uh back it down just let off the brake stop right there i could do it but man i'd have to it's just the kind of thing where if i got to use a truck i have to something you want to take for it i can you want to do it Yeah. And I'm just technically any tow guy, they just pulled it, they would have dipped, like I'm trying to help you, you know what I'm saying? I... But then I'll help you strap it down and shit too, you know? All right, so we're just gonna try to pull it up on there. Set on the one or two. 
to Get the flip a check, call me who are you? Rapping for the set on the one or two Get the flip a check, call me who are you? Rapping for the set on the one or two Get the flip a check, call me who are you? Rapping for the set on the one or two Get the flip a check, call me who are you? Hey, can you take the brake off for me? Now make sure you steer it on there while I do it. Have the little guy stand back by her by the van. You guys back up. You're gonna, yeah, aim it right up on there.